Hello guys, it's Zido and today I'm gonna show you how to summon the Moon World. For this, you're gonna need firstly already entered hard mode. Second, you already need to defeat the team mechanical bosses, Skeleton Prime, the twins and the destroyer. This is the skeleton prime. I think there should be videos available for me that you can watch about them. Then you should defeat Pantera. I made a video about it. And also uh, the last boss, but I forgot his name, like, it's a new dry... no, no. After Pantera knew to defeat the golem in this temple, I made also a tutorial about it, and last, uh, but, uh, no, yes, yes, last. You should, uh, defeat the, I don't know, the lunatics, I think, I don't know his name, right? I think the lunatic. So for this, I'm gonna just go there and demonstrate you how to do after defeating the golem, and any other things. Okay guys, once you're here, this should, I don't know, the lunatics? Yes, the lunatics. Here are these like little guys, and then they will spawn on the main boss, wait a minute, so... You just kill them, and they should appear the boss. It's like this, yes, the lunatic cultist, yes, this is the final boss, and you just kill him now. I recommend you to make you a Terra Blade because I defeated him at the time point when I recorded this with the Terra Blade. Okay, he's defeated. So, once you get this, you get this ancient manipulator, this uh, uh, very useful like crafting table for the, uh, some specific crafting uh, recepts, like uh, my uh, solar eruption. This you get by the fragment that, you, that I will now explain to you. So you here you can craft different types of stuff from the so for these fragments that I'm gonna show you how you get this by the pillars of the moon world I think yes uh, the pillars of the moon world the vortex the solar the nebula and the stardust and the yes yes vortex and every single gives you another type of um, uh, spear uh, row the the one is um, like Mage, the mage part is the Nebua, the solar is like the melee or berserker, the, I think the vortex was summoner, no, range damage, and the stardust was summoning, so if you want what class you are playing in Terraria, um, you should choose this armor, but I personally recommend melee, and if you be trying to beat the, the, uh, the moon world, Please do it with friends, with friends is much funner and easier because he's not only targeting you and stuff, and yes. Now I'm gonna just uh, show you how to defeat the pillars, here are 50, nee, there, by you I think there should be 100 mobs because I defeated the moon already, by you should be 100 mobs, uh, you should defeat, and then the pillar, because the pillar have some shield around it, and yes, I'm gonna do it uh, fast, with, and also with others, but uh, attention, at any pillar there are other mobs, and when you, when you, uh, break the pillar, you get some kind of fragments that I can explain to you. Uh, take it and craft what I said to you with weapon, which class are you playing in Terraria. I will see you in just a moment. Okay, the shield is up, now we can destroy it. And do it so by every other pillar that I showed you. Now. Okay, here are the fragments, just, just take them and go directly to another pillar. If you die, there is no problem, they will not despawn or something. And yes, I show you the other now. Okay guys, once you defeat all the pillars, the moon world should appear right away, because look, I will stay uh, on one place, just a second, and look, your, my screen doesn't say, like, um, he, he moves himself, my screen, look, he, he suffers from something, and that's, I think, the radiation or something of the moon world, that's a signal that the moon world will appear in the upcoming time, like, we, we, we will just wait now, and he should spawn. You will see a, a, a white light, and then you see that the signal that he spawns. And we just wait now. 
Yes, that's the signal. He will spawn now. Wait. Hmm. <coughs> yes. 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 No. Nah, yes. And here's the moon world. You. Uh, he has two hands. One eye up. And when you once you destroy both of them, he has the cut with uh, 50k health. I would recommend you to destroy first the hands. It's very useful. Or the eye because the eye has a kind of inferno. And yes. Uh, yes, I will just uh, now kill him for you, and you will see now what type of you can become. Okay, guys, let's go. We defeat the moon world, and uh, also if you did it, uh, you successfully played uh, completed the area like Minecraft defeating the Ender Dragon. And where's the loot? Wait, he should fall. Okay, here we get a couple of some items. I think the the safest one is the portal gun. This you can get, I think, every time. Luminate, much luminate. You, this you can get by crafting the, the strongest ammo. And yes, what you can, I will show you what all you can get by the moon world. Wait, here. Um, I recommend you to get this. The Dutton is very strong yo yo. The Mjolnir and the Star World, you need both of the swords for the. Uh, for the how, uh, for the um, for the zenith that I have, oops, for my so for my personal salt, you see, and yes, uh, I would recommend you to get this board, and also if you are like not so um, so strong as me with the weapons, when you get a couple of so your friends, uh, take this thing and spam only at one part of his and take it part part by part down. This is very useful, and don't you get him killed if he drops the terrarium because I heard from my friends when we killed him because I still didn't get it but it's very strong it makes some um, couples of clones of the euro and makes much damage and yes very cool very cool stuff from the moon world uh, luminate uh, yes luminate you can with the luminate you can craft armor and drills and stuff and yes this was story guys I hope you enjoyed I uh, hope I see you in the next video goodbye